welcome back to the 13th Destiny Podcast with Magnum. Uh, to, uh, this evening is going to be uh, a story uh, episode while we're waiting to get our next guest in line for an interview session. And uh, before I get started on tonight's story, let's talk about DoorDash. Uh, I want to tell you that DoorDash is available in over 4,000 cities in the United States. It holds 60% of the current market of the food delivery industry. Consider working for DoorDash or being a customer with DoorDash. Uh, as a dasher, uh, working for DoorDash, you can be your own boss. It's very flexible. And you can dash anywhere in the United States uh, that they have it available. And it doesn't matter if you're from like where I'm from here in Bowling Green, Kentucky, or if you want to go somewhere else in uh, Dash. Uh, it's one of the most flexible companies uh, in the United States as well. So check that out and uh, certainly consider being a customer as well. And uh, just wanted to put a big thing out there for DoorDash. So have a great day on that if you're using DoorDash or working at DoorDash today. All right, moving in on to our story episode uh, for tonight. Um, this is not my story, as I had mentioned uh, on um, Facebook and a few other places, the people that follow me. Um, and also, yes, um, even though I was talking some good stuff about it, yes, I did have an issue with uh, food in the last couple of days. It had nothing to do with uh, any delivery or stuff. I picked this up myself, so uh, and this was on me, so... Uh, but I'm, I've recovered from that, and I feel a lot better now, um, and uh, all is good. Um, so anyway, as I had said and mentioned to some of the people that are following me, um, this particular story is not mine. Um, I think I was about 24, and uh, I have talked to her in the last few days uh, because we were still friends, and I just wanted to make sure that she didn't have any problem with me mentioning. I'm not going to mention her last name because she is married now, uh, but we are still friends. Uh, but I think I was about 24, and she was 19 when we dated uh, off and on a little bit there. Um, and so I was a little bit more of the skeptic back then because I hadn't really... I don't know, I hadn't really got into the whole paranormal or ghost thing, and I guess I got onto that a little late, so, and apologies to my friends who are in that, that, you know, I was any kind of great skeptic back then, but, um, you know, and, I, and still, I mean, I have, there's certain things that sometimes I wonder about, uh, are these, you know, completely paranormal events, or is there something going on? And, and I had to apologize to her years ago because once I did become more in tune, I told her later that, you know, I felt kind of bad about, you know, not at least trying to acknowledge. But she she did, and, and we both kind of joked back about this, uh, she was one of these people kind of like, um, likes to play, like to play jokes and things, but on this particular night she she got very upset because she she was like it's not a joke and i'm scared and you know and i'm like back then be honest i just kind of like played it off and i was wrong and you know i should have i should have listened to her more so um and that's on me it, but it's amazing we're still friends right so uh, <laughs> that happens i suppose um but oh excuse me um recovering from everything in the last couple of days uh but i do feel better and for the most part uh anyway <laughs> oh my goodness but uh try to get through this uh, like i said i do feel a lot better but uh, it, it, it has been a rough couple of days well anyway so uh, her name is crystal i won't give her last name out i told her i wouldn't give her last name out and uh she was kind of all, you know, I told her I wasn't going to do that. Uh, she said that I could use her first name. Uh, so some people that may know that um, me and may know her and know that we kind of did date there for a little bit. Um, and like I said, it was an on again, off again thing back when I was 24 and she was 19. So, um, but um, yes, uh, it's been a while. So so this is this goes way back. And I was living in uh, Northeast Georgia when um, I was dating her. And um, anyway, so um, a lot of times I would stay at my parents or I'd be working or I would uh, go spend like a weekend with her sometimes when I was able to. And uh, so anyway, that's kind of the, that's kind of the background on that. It's not really that important. Well, I guess that's kind of important to this story because I guess I was staying with her the weekend that this happened. And 
you know, it kind of caused a little bit of frictions considering that uh, I didn't really believe her. I thought she was just playing one of her uh, usual jokes. That she, he, she loved it. She loved to joke around now. And I did too, but I, I just didn't like joking around with stuff that didn't, you know, kind of... I can't even put a put a in perspective of what why I didn't believe her that night, but you know, and I guess because we played so many practical jokes on each other, and it was just kind of like I thought she was just joking with me and messing with my head. But anyway, um, today I kind of doubt that because she sticks to this story to this day, and knowing some of the people I know now and all that, I. I'm in tune to more think today that there was something to that particular thing that happened. Um, so anyway, just to get into the story a little bit and give a little more background to one of the one of the reasons that it kind of uh, maybe I had some doubts was, like I said, first off, she, she joked around, I joked around, and uh, you know, and we played that a lot on each other. So, um, not not this particular story obviously because you know she never ever said that it, he sticks to it to this day that she believes something happened and now I'm more in tune as I said to believe that uh, so anyway so I had to have a little talk with her uh, in the last few days and um, it went well and uh, she's okay with me uh, talking about this particular thing now and uh, and uh, I told her I was going to use it on the podcast at, podcast episode that was coming up and she was okay with that so that's cool um and uh <laughs> funny thing was i asked her i said so or is your husband going to be okay with this too and he's like she's like it doesn't matter she said it was fine but uh hey you know i just wanted to be sure um so uh, i'm very respectful to those things these days and just you know you live and you learn and just remember always make sure everybody that's you know involved or indirectly involved in what you're about to talk about you know doesn't really have a problem with it so uh enough of the background although the story's not ex i don't know i might be able to drag it out a little bit but i want to drag it out too long um the stories that she told me so anyway i was spending the weekend with her you know and everything was fine no no no, no problems everything's going it was a good weekend um, you know, and ironically, you know, we were just having a very good weekend, you know, just hanging out with each other, going and doing a few things. I think we went to the movies, uh, a couple other things. And, um, anyway, came back there, uh, and I said, I used to spend the weekend with her sometime. And we just, you know, you know, typical things, you know, um, you know, we're just there hanging out, doing our thing. And, uh, you know, um, it was so interesting. So to get into this story and try to take out the person, as much of the personal stuff as possible, um, that it doesn't need to be part of the story, honestly. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, sorry about that. Uh, I'm just trying to think back on how this came about um, exactly because I want to try to get the story straight from how, where it started to where it ended and kind of where she got a little irritated which and honestly I, I agree for her getting irritated by the way now um that has to do with my skepticism back then but anyway so um everything was good so i think this was on saturday night uh i think i went down yeah i went down there on friday night everything on friday night was good uh we hung out the whole day on saturday you know did our thing went out to some places uh, i think we i think it was saturday night we went to the movies and then uh went back uh, to her place and uh you know just hung out and um and uh i think it was about uh two or three o'clock in the morning and uh she woke me up and she said i'm having this really bad dream about something that happened and i'm like what, what are you talking about and so anyway so she hadn't told me anything about this either and uh, there was a place that uh, she and i used to go and uh, we used to go there and just sometimes we'd go there and uh, have a picnic together or you know and park and just you know and it was a kind of a private place you had to it was in uh, it was in a county called banks county 
and uh, it was a very primitive area for the most part. But it's a nice road down this place. You know, to this day, I don't even I don't even think we know who owned that place. To be honest with you, but we really didn't have. Uh, you know, no one ever came there, as far as I know, uh, if on a regular basis. We never ever went into anybody where this place was at. And I, I think I, back then, even back then, I think I think we always said something to the effect of, I said, this is how we're going to handle this if someone ever shows up here. And, uh, and she said, I'm sure, well, I'm sure you can handle it because of the kind of people. You know, even back then, I knew a lot of uh, law enforcement stuff like that in that particular area. And uh, have been a uh, security consultant and uh, you know former private investigator, all that kind of stuff. So I had some I had some connections back then, even uh, a little bit less than I do now. But so anyway, so anyway, this particular place, it's not that far off. It wasn't that far off the road either. And uh, you know there was a um, you could hear cars passing usually from uh, on the more what I would call a more type of main road. So. Um, the fact that we went there, really, um, and nothing had ever happened there. Looking back on it, um, knowing what I know now, it kind of, it kind of like lent itself to me thinking, um, okay, it's just a bad dream. It's no big deal. So anyway, that's what I thought at first, except for the fact that she said something had happened a few days earlier, and uh, so. Uh, and I think, I think being my stupid 24-year-old self, I think I said something to the effect of, well, why were you there? Because the place we go, you know, we go there just to be alone and hang out and, you know, do things. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, so you, you can uh, put the rest of the imagination in that one. But uh, anyway, uh, and I did ask her about that before I, you know, uh, about it. I told her, I said, I'll try to keep all our most personal and private stuff out of this. Uh, story because uh, that's not really that important to the uh, podcast podcast episode. Sorry, I'm still recovering from the last couple of days of uh, some uh, acute few food poisoning. So um, anyway, so that was bad. Um, so um, anyway, she, so she tells me about this, and I said, "What were you doing there?" And she said, "Oh, I just kind of wanted, to, you know." And to, you know, and I said what I said, and she's like, "No, I just wanted to go there and be be alone and just." You know, think about, and she then she tells me she said, but I got out of there very quickly. I was just sitting in the car when this happened, and I'm like sitting in the car, or and she tells me, yeah, she I wasn't out of the car when this happened, and she said, now I keep dreaming about it, and it and I'm kind of scared and it's bugging me, and I'm like, and then at this point I'm thinking, ah, okay, so she's messing with me. I'm just that's so there's this is where the skepticism goes in, and I'm gonna like, you know, eat my words years later. So, um, so she tells me about this story. So uh, she says she was sitting in the car and she was just there, you know. She first she said I was just you know listening to the radio doing some, and she said, just to be honest, we had kind of went back and forth with a few little minor problems. So I think she was there they're trying to work it out in her head about how whether we were going to stay dating or stuff like that so that I, I and I have asked her about that and she said that was part of the issue so so I'm not telling you anything that uh, she wouldn't tell you um, or acknowledge um, so on this particular after she woke me up and she told me about this she said uh, and I could see that you know and, and, and looking back I should have realized you know because she she really I guess now that I think about it Today she she did look kind of like she was terrified, and that it was bugging her. And maybe I should have like been more, you know, attentive. I guess I don't know. I don't really know. My 24 year old self and my 54 year old self are two very very different people in lots of aspects, not in everything, but most things. Um. So uh. So I just looked at her and I said, Crystal, what are you talking about? And then she starts telling me about being there, and she thought something um, had touched the car, and not once, but like three different times while she was there. And she kept playing it off to start with, and uh, and then she said, before I had come to, to spend the weekend with her, um, that a couple of other things had happened. And, and she said they were all involved with three things. So she said that the car, literally she thought someone had touched the car like three different times while she was out there. And I'm like, okay, did you see anybody? 
And she said, no, I didn't see anybody. But I'm telling you, something is going on. And again, going back to our you know, practical jokes on each other, this lent itself to, okay, she's... Okay, she now looking back on it, I, like I said, I said I could, now I know she was like scared, but I just didn't wasn't in tune with it, unfortunately. Mm, excuse me. <coughs> uh, so anyway, I looked at Crystal and I was like, okay, so tell me what all has been going on for the last couple of days before I came over here, because she didn't mention any of this until she went to sleep and woke up in the middle of the night. You know, and it was just like in this terrified state, I guess, as I look back on it now. And I guess, and I apologize to her. And, you know, let's water under the bridge. So, anyway, that's not really all that important. But I guess it is in a way because it's kind of like I didn't believe her back then. And, you know, now I much more believe because she has never, ever not stuck to this story. So, anyway, so the rest of this story goes like this. So. And I said, are you sure someone touched the car? Are you sure some... I said, I said, I mean, that is a very... Even though the road's not that far off, I said, that's kind of remote for, you know, an area. I said, I said, did you see anybody out there? Did you... No. Did you hear anybody out there before this happened? And she said, no. I said, um... I said, which, 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 I guess is the investigative side of me. I said, so why did you not get out of there as soon as the first time? And she said, I honestly didn't know what was going on. And she said, I still don't know what's going on. And uh, I said, okay. And I said, now you're having drinks. And she said, yeah, but there's been a couple other incidents. And I'm like, okay, incidents of what? And so this is what she tells me. And then I, and of course, the 24-year-old self who plays practical jokes on her and she plays practical jokes on me, I think she's leading me into some kind of joke. And, uh, well, it wasn't a joke for, to her, and unfortunately I, you know, wasn't being, I don't think I was being a very good boyfriend. So anyway, you know, and, uh, but that's my fault, not hers. I'm not blaming her, by the way. That's, you know, I'm just you know, maybe blaming our youth a little bit, but that's beside the point. So, anyway, she goes on. She goes, well, she said that was the first incident. I said, okay, what are you talking about? I don't know if she used the word incident. She may or may or not use it. I think she may just said that was the first time. I think I'm more in tune to use the word incident. But anyway, that's what she said. She said that was, I think she might have said that was the first time uh, that something happened. And then there was two other incidents, which again, I'm saying using the incident. I don't remember her using the word incident. I think that's more me talking. Um, but I think she's just telling me about this if I remember correctly. And so she tells me, she says uh, that that had happened and a couple of, maybe she said a couple other things had happened and it was bugging her I think maybe maybe that was her words I, it's been a while since I remember exactly what all happened I kind of went over that a little bit with her a couple of days ago you know and uh, so anyway just uh, just a small briefing trying to remember part of the story that she told me um, because I do kind of believe now that there was something to it so um, I don't know what there was to it but being who I am today compared to who I was when I was 24, I'm much more thinking that there was something to this particular story. So, um, she said, well, she said, not only the dream tonight, but she said, I've had a couple other, and again, those are my words, I believe, I've had a couple other things that have happened, I think is what she said. And um, I said, okay, so what exactly is going on, Crystal? And of course, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm being set up for some kind of joke, you know. And she gets very serious all of a sudden. But then again, sometimes she could do that too. So I just looked at her and I said, "Okay, so tell me exactly what has been going on." And uh, I mean, I was, you know, open to her telling me what was going on and all that. Um, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't gonna not let her tell me that or you know just play it off. So I didn't just completely play it off, but so she tells me. She said, "Well, after that, in, after that happened, um, I got to learn not to use that word because that's not really her word. Uh, I think she just literally said. She said, "Well, after that happened, uh, she said that uh, there was there was like this knocking on the door, 
at her house where you know she stayed uh, long story there um, we won't get into that but um so I'm like knocking on the door so somebody probably just came and knocked on this is what I'm saying to her I said someone just probably knocked on the door and just didn't and she said no she said this was weird and I said what do you mean it was weird and um, I just I'm looking at her and I'm just I guess I at that time I'm still just waiting for the setup for the joke and it never went there and she said well all this has happened in the last few days and uh, she said first I went out there to be alone to think and about some things and that happened with the car and then she said there was a knock on the door and it was like three distinct knocks on the door and she said when I went to the door she said oh I looked out the door I didn't see anybody you know and I looked around I didn't see anybody and uh, I waited a couple you know and she said I opened the door looked around there's nobody out there anywhere and she said this kind of bugged me because you know the car had been touched like three times out where you know we would go out and park and talk and have picnics and all that stuff but anyway she is looking a little bit more terrified now but at the same time I'm unfortunately thinking in the back of my head that she's pulling something on me but knowing now what I know I realize that looking back on it she definitely was being very serious that she was very concerned and it's my fault that I did not take that concern into consideration at that particular time. So, I did listen to her though. That's the uh, interesting thing. I did listen to her. I did listen. I didn't, I didn't just play it off directly. I just kind of listened to her and let her talk. And she said, she said, I got a little concerned, and I and I asked, I said, the only thing I asked there was, I said, so, do you think someone is, like, following you, or, she said, no. I was like, what do you mean, no? This is why I'm with my 24-year-old. I said, are you sure someone's not, you know, following you, or, you know, could be out to do harm to you, or something? She said, no. She said, it's something else. She said, I don't know what it is, but she said, it's not. I don't think it's, and this is her particular words. I do remember that she looked right at me. She goes, I don't think it was a person. And of course, my 24 year old self just kind of laughed. Oops. Uh, wouldn't do that today. Um, and uh, she's like, yeah, I'm being serious. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh, at this point, she's like, now this is where she starts getting a little upset with me. And I thought, okay, you got to take a step back. And she said, don't laugh. She said, because there's more to this. And I'm like, ooh. So I was like, uh-oh. Um, if this is a joke and this is a setup, I'm like, I guess I'll just let her talk and play this out. And um, she said, that, wasn't the f that was the first time. She said, it happened two more times after that. I was like, what? Now I'm kind of, my investigative security side is kicking in and but I'm trying not to laugh because you know I thought she was setting me up for something and then I'm realizing okay well let's take a step back you know because there may be there may be something else going on this was my thought process you know it wasn't a thought process of entity or paranormal activity or anything like that at that time um, but again looking back on it I do believe there's something that happened. I just don't know what. Um, and honestly, she doesn't either, to be honest. I mean, she. But this is this is a story that lends itself to that there's something that was either out there or had homed in on her, because it didn't happen with me. It only happened with her. So she tells me again. She, she said it happened two other times. I said the knocking on the door. She said yes. And she said, um, and then she told me, she said, so there was three times that the door was knocked on, three times when the knocks came. 
and she said they were at different times and this she said this is the last few days before you came down here and she said since you've been here she said I was hoping something would happen while you were here so that you would see or hear this too and know I'm telling you the truth about that I think something's wrong and I'm like okay I said so I did take a step back now I'm thinking okay and my 24 year old self was being stupid by the way just so you know I can not admit that today so anyway um, I wasn't thinking on the level that she was thinking and uh, and I regret that now um, not not as far as our personal relationship just regret not you know being more attentive to her and you know that that she really believed something was going on that was far beyond um, what was considered normal and uh, you know she wasn't making it up as far as I could tell then and I believe now that she wasn't so um, so I did begin to listen to her and I, even more so but yeah there was still a little bit of skepticism there but I did listen to her so she so she tells me she said this uh this went on three different times before you come down here and she said now nothing and she says and except for this dream that just woke me up and I said okay so what else if anything has happened and that would make that would lend itself you know, I wasn't saying them, I don't think. I think I just said, is there anything else that's happened I need to know about? You know, and is there, I mean, I'm thinking on security risk. Is someone bothering so, But I'm not saying it anymore at this point. I'm just taking it all into my head and thinking, okay, someone may be messing with her. Um, so I was like, I was more worried about that at the time than I was thinking that there was some kind of uh, paranormal activity going on. But, again, something went on that didn't make sense. Um, and I wish that that house is not there anymore, by the way. The house has been torn down, by the way. Uh, I wish, because it was an older house, but anyway. Uh, that's a longer story. I, I just wish now, knowing some of the people that I know, I just wish that we could have went back and figured that out. So, um, on this on this night that she tells me, this is like, like I said, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning when she woke me up. Somewhere around that time. And I mean, why haven't she, to, to this day, I do wonder about this. I just wish she had told me, you know, when it first started going on. And I could have come down there maybe to start with, you know, and seen if anything. But nothing happened on the weekend I was there. And I don't know if, she, I think that bothered her a lot. So, went on and I talked to her a little bit more. I said, so, is there anything else that's happened? And uh, she told me, she said, yes. Okay. And uh, she said, so when I went out to go to work yesterday morning, she said, uh, in addition to these three knocks, these three different times, these three knocks and these three times on the car, she told me, she said, I walked out. And I almost, she said, I almost called you over this one. I was like, uh-oh this is going to be good. I'm like, what do you mean you almost called me over this one, but you didn't call me over the rest of it. That's what I'm thinking. I think that's what I was thinking in my head back then. She said, I walked out and she said, I'm going to the car and, uh, you know, and I look and there are three apples on the back of my car laid out one on the left, one on the right, and one in the middle on the back of the, whoa. At this point, I'm thinking, obviously, I'm thinking somebody, you know, I'm thinking somebody, you know, I'm thinking a person. I'm thinking somebody you know, is actually messing with her, stalking her, doing something to that effect. Um, you know, um, I wasn't involved with a lot of things as much as I am today, but enough so that, um, yeah, someone could have been trying to get to her to get to me. Um, it, it was very possible. Um, and, uh, but I think it lends itself more to some kind of activity that makes no sense. Um, you know, I don't, because there was really, at that particular time, there was no one really, you know, I don't think I had a, I don't think I had a particular death threat or anything like that on me at the time, or um, I hadn't dealt with anyone that, you know, was trying to 
come after me for anything in particular. Um, anyway, it goes back to working in certain jobs and stuff, and some some people, you know, take things personally. But you know, usually usually back then they were more likely to come after you for the most part. Um, but still, in the back of my mind, I was wondering, well, is is it that or is it something else? Um, you know, what's what's going on? And I was like, okay, I said. This is what I said. I said, "Well, that sounds like something we." She said, "I don't think it's, I don't think it's a person." And I just kind of like, "What do you mean? You don't think it's a person? I think it's something or some." I said, "What? What are you talking about?" Of course, <coughs> excuse me. Um, going back to my uh, twenty-four-year-old self, I was not thinking paranormal at all. I wasn't thinking ghost. I wasn't thinking anything like that. And uh, she looks right at me and she goes, Do you not understand? I don't think it's on... I don't think it's a person here. And I'm like... Again, going back to my 24-year-old self, I said, What do you mean you don't think it's a person here? And she goes, I think it's some kind of being from something else or or a ghost or I, I mean this is her words at that time and I'm just like wasn't who I am today I'm just like okay so at this point I'm thinking are you again I'm, unfortunately I just so I just looked at her and I said okay and of course we played these jokes and this is when she got really mad and upset with me and she goes I said to her I said, okay, what's what's the joke? What are you playing on me? So that's what I thought. Oh, my goodness. I wish I hadn't said that. I mean, she got so aggravated. I, she, and she's like, this is not a joke. Da, 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 da. I'm telling you. And, I'm, when you, and she said, please stop acting like it's a joke. It's not a joke. And, I mean, she was almost ready to cry. And I was like, oh, yikes, yikes. I was like, whoa. Uh, okay. I So I took a step back. And... Uh, I was like, wow, she's really upset, and I just screwed up. So I'm like, I really messed up here. So that's what that was my thought process at that time. I was like, uh oh, oops. And uh, and she's like, whatever. She said, well, fine. If you don't want to believe me, just yeah. And then she got really, really upset with me. And uh, so this is kind of where the weekend goes sour a little bit. And um, I'm just like, whoa. Wow. So anyway, to finish out the story, um, so this goes into Sunday morning, and uh, I don't, if I remember correctly, I believe I can't remember. I don't remember. I cooked for her. Or she, I don't. I don't remember exactly on that part of the story. I do remember this though. So uh, I'm out on the couch sitting there and stuff uh, later in the morning, and. Uh, she comes in there and, and uh, she says, I just cannot believe you didn't believe me. And I'm, I'm like, oh boy. I just looked at Crystal and I said, look, it's not that I don't believe you. I'm just concerned about what you said. And I, I said, you got to understand that my thought process was I was concerned that someone was messing with you or, you know, could do you harm. And I was concerned about that. You know, and, and she said, see, you just don't, she said, you just don't get this. She said, I'm scared, not of somebody, but of something. And I'm like, in the back of my 24-year-old self, who was the skeptic and everything, I was just thinking, oh boy, how do you, how do you deal with this? So, finally, she said, she said, you didn't even let me finish everything last night. I was like, uh-oh. I was like, well, there's more to this? And she said, yeah, there's more to this. I said, beyond the knocking and the apples? And she said, yes. I said, okay. And this is where it's the creepiest part of the story now to this day. And she sticks to this story to this day that this happened. And I and now I believe her, you know, because I'm not as skeptic as I was back then. So she looks at me and she tells me, she said, before you came down here, she said, before you came down here on Friday night, she said, not only did that happen, she said, I literally, 
she said and this is what she said I literally was taking a shower and she said I swear somebody was walking around inside the house and I had locked the doors and everything and when I came out the doors were all still locked and she said I could hear footsteps through the house and I'm like really and she said yes like that really and you didn't call me for that either you know she's like I didn't know what was going on and I still don't and I'm like okay but she said I checked the doors all the doors were still locked no one had got through the windows now and I'm telling you I could hear it it was loud enough that I could hear it even with the shower I said loud enough even with the shower running she said yeah it was like someone because anyway in this particular house it had hardwood floors so you know if someone was walking in that house with any type of boots or anything like that uh, because uh, you could hear my when I wore like boots into that house you could hear them so she was like at first she said I thought it was you and then I realized no it's not you because I knew where you were at and then I was like who's in the house with me and then all of a sudden she because she said I turned the shower off and I kept hearing it and they walked around the house but they never came into the you know bathroom she said they just walked around the rest of the house and I could hear the footsteps just you know like she said she said it sounded like somebody that was walking in high heels is what she told me and I said really and she said yes I said so you think someone was in this house and she said no again I think something was in this house and I'm like uh oh okay and flashing forward to who I am today with all the background I have now with the people that I know yeah something happened there I don't know what happened there and I don't know why it happened and uh, like I said that house is also torn down now but she had this first incident happening out where we went all the time um, well I wouldn't say we went there all the time we went there some um, but and then but it was at the house but it wasn't there when I was there nothing happened while I was there which was really strange and uh, to make a long story short we we stayed dating for a while and uh, and she brought it up one other time and said that there'd been another incident where someone had been in the house she thought and no one was there but her and uh, so but that's not why we by the way uh, just to make this clear we didn't break up or anything over this this particular thing so it's so that's kind of good too but um, we just kind of drifted apart on our our ways of other stuff but uh, and I did tell her I was I would try not to mention too much of our personal stuff that it was more important about the um, you know the story in general but um anyway that's what happened with her and it's a very interesting story as I look back on it and uh, and just have a totally different thought process on it today I wish I had had the thought process at 24 that I do today at 54 uh, you know and I just God, I just made myself a year older. See, I can't even see. I can't even stick with that. Wow. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, let's just say that my older self considers a lot of more things as I have learned things uh, over the years with my paranormal investigators and people that I've met. Uh, I learned a lot more that maybe I wish I'd have known more back then, and I'd have been more, you know, looking at that. But. That one's all on me. Um, so obviously there was something that happened with her, uh, and uh, that's her story. I did tell her I was going to use it, um, although I did kind of use a couple words that were not her words. But uh, but the story itself is her story, and it was very interesting. And unfortunately, I didn't find it as interesting until later in life, and that's on me also. And uh, try not to pay any attention to the fact that I just keep getting. Uh, People wanting to talk to me all of a sudden there I, I'll have to get off here and uh, and get this up so y'all can listen to it but anyway that's that's her story and crystal's a great uh, l lady and I really appreciate the fact that crystal told me I could use this story 
and um, you know I was gonna use it one way or the other anyway but uh, I reached out to her and told her I was gonna use it on the podcast and uh, as I said we're still civil friends with each other uh, and uh, I made sure that you know I told her I wouldn't use her last name and uh, she was cool everything um, and I hope that she listens to the podcast and uh, now she may or may not but that's beside the point um, and um, if she has anything else to add to it, um, I'll follow up on it. But uh, according to her, she said that after she moved from that house, uh, she said she never had another another incident um, with that. And I really wish that house was still up because if it were still up, I would probably have my paranormal investigators, uh, someone I knew, check it out. But unfortunately, I don't know what happened there. So. Anyway, that's her story, and I hope you've enjoyed it, even though I had to kind of drag out some of it and try to, like, edit out some of our personal stuff. Um, but um, that's the story, and that's uh, how it went down, according to her. And uh, hope everyone has a great day. And uh, continue listening to the 13th Destiny podcast with Magnum. Uh, and I hope you're having a great morning, evening, or whatever it is, wherever you are at. And uh, look forward to getting our next guest on as soon as possible. Thanks again for listening, and have a great day. God bless all of you.